Welcome to a recreation of Jack Kelby's lab as we believe it existed in the summer of 1958. We scoured old photographs and the memories of those who were there to make certain we faithfully duplicated every detail. For those of you who can't visit in person, we're going to take you right inside the lab for a close-up look where Jack created the integrated circuit. The desk, chairs, and wall panels are all authentic pieces from the 1950s that have been in storage. The oscilloscope and other equipment are the type Jack used to demonstrate the working integrated circuit to his supervisors on September 12, 1958. The little sine wave that Jack's invention generated that day was a signal of big changes to come. On the desk, you can see a replica of Jack's lab book, open to the two now famous pages on which he first drew his invention. One of Jack's original prototypes of the integrated circuit sits next to the lab book. Other versions of Jack's IC reside at the Smithsonian National Museum of American History and another is at the Chicago Museum of Science and History. A third is currently on loan to the Meadows Museum. Jack built multiple units of his design to test his idea of a monolithic circuit. You can also see a large scale model of the first working integrated circuit. The size of the actual circuit was only 7 16th by 1 16th inches. Other objects in the lab include a briefcase, magazines, and other material that actually belonged to Jack and were found in his desk. The Kelby family contributed many of these objects to the de Gaulier Library at Southern Methodist University, which houses both the Jack Kelby Archives and the Texas Instruments Archives. The display also includes a favorite picture of Jack, his wife Barbara, and daughters Ann and Janet on vacation in Colorado, and a photo of Jack and his hot rod circa 1941 in his hometown of Great Bend, Kansas. And finally, there is this photo of Jack Kelby receiving the Nobel Prize from the King of Sweden in December of 2000. Jack's lab has been reconstructed for now in the semiconductor building where it was originally. When the new Kilby Labs is completed, Jack's lab will be moved there to serve as inspiration for the engineers and others working on a host of new and advanced projects.